ser eg jeg? Hva ser eg jeg? Hva ser eg jeg? Hva ser eg jeg? This video is sponsored by Skillshare. I get a lot of comments from Dutch learners who say that their biggest hurdle is understanding spoken Dutch. I know I went through this as well when I had entered the Netherlands finally and I thought I had a pretty good grip on the language. I had dedicated a massive amount of time to understanding the intricacies and the ins and outs and grammar structures and all that stuff before I even got here. And yet landing in the country and listening to natives totally blew me away. It was far more difficult than I had expected. And I know that through all of my studies, the Netherlands has some pretty standardized rules about how to speak and how to spell. So in most languages, you have what is called vowel shortening, where the vowel is made a lot shorter than what it normally would be pronounced if saying the word in isolation. You also have assimilation when it becomes a totally different sound. And then you have elision. So that's when the sound is totally taken off. These things aren't written down. This is part of every single spoken language. And that's what makes spoken language so unique. That's when we get to express our accent and our dialect. And these things are influenced by how fast we're speaking and how important a word is in the sentence. Dutch is no exception. Dutch has this as well. And I was reading a study recently that took a bunch of Flemish speakers and Dutch speakers and put them in and recorded them speaking and how often or how likely they were to create these mistakes when they were pronouncing these vowel sounds. From what I can tell, Dutch is a mostly phonetic language. There are usually only one way to spell a sound. There are some exceptions to this. I'll leave them in the description below, but let's talk in a general sense. You can spell the word ow using a U or OU. The sound with I J, the I is spelled and sounds the same as E I. And if you take a word like Herefordale, you can see that there's only single E's used, but there's almost three types of different pronunciations for this letter E. It's only natural that Dutch is also affected by such speech patterns. They have nearly 200 different dialects in this country, and that completely influences the way that people communicate with each other. The confusion is for learners of Dutch when they read a certain version and then they hear something that doesn't sound like what they thought they were reading. So an example of this happening in English would be a sentence like, what did you say? In Australian English, we are notorious for blending all of our words together and creating great big long sentences and similar in the way that French do this. A sentence for me, what did you say? would sound more like, what did you say? And you can hear that all of those vowel sounds, so the R in what, the T is become a D, so I'm changing a lot of the sounds. And it almost, if you were to write what I said, looks completely different to how an English learner would have read it. These similar things can happen when people are speaking Dutch. Well, check here, the T is not so hard. And if you throw in a dialect over the top, well, said it yay. It doesn't even sound like how it's written anymore. I remember when I was first listening to spoken Dutch and obviously being in the Ronstadt area, people were dropping the N. And I would say, why is it said Lare instead of Laren? There's clearly an N there. And everything that I had read had told me Dutch is basically a phonetic language. There are no silent letters. Why wasn't anyone saying the N? In other parts of the Netherlands, they actually do pronounce the N, but they swallow the E sound. So instead of saying something like, wij gingen lopen, wij gingen lopen, is how I would say it. But then some dialects say, wij gingen I don't even know if I can say it like that properly, but they essentially drop the E sound and just smush the verb and the end together. So essentially this study showed that most people are likely to shorten a vowel sound. So some of these longer vowels that you hear in words, ban, man, 
stan, they actually shorten them so it would sound like they were actually spelt with one A. This choice is usually picked up by Flemish speakers, so Flemish people are more likely to shorten a vowel. So the same study said that Dutch speakers actually had more variation in how they decide to change the vowel sound, so whether that was changing it to a schwa, shortening it, lengthening it, deleting it, the combinations were all over the place, which just goes to show how and why it's so difficult to understand spoken Dutch. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators, workers, literally there's anything you can think of on there. You can explore new skills, you can learn more about passions that you already have. I know that I've been using Skillshare for a while now and I've used it both to do creative things, but I use it in my everyday work. I have come across this class by Jack Zerby and it's about copywriting and it's called Copywriting Basics for Successful Sales and I learned so much information about the basic principles of copywriting and how to write good copy, which is something that I have to do for my job. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new and premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So once you get over this first hurdle, there is a second one. As I mentioned before, the Netherlands has almost 200 dialects. So the most confusing aspect is when these diphthong sounds, so the combined vowel sounds, can actually be changed for something completely different. Now I made a video on this and I will link it below or here or wherever and I gave some examples of how these different dialects function and how they actually swap out certain sounds and this can sometimes follow a pattern. So some quick examples of this is in Brabant. They have a tendency in some areas, this is very general because again, each village can have its own dialect. They can lengthen their I sound, so a word like ik becomes eek. Some regions will also lengthen their U sound to U, so bus, bus, maybe. <laughs> and like I mentioned before, the sentence for Tsjechia becomes was I think. <laughs> Not, I think, in my worst Brabant accent ever. Drents and Achterhoeks, Achterhoeks. Drents and Achterhoeks. Drents and Achterhoeks, which is another umbrella that encompasses a certain type of accent and dialect, will have a tendency to change the I sound to an E sound. So words like reisen become reason. Streiken, streiken. I was listening to the R, is it RTL Drents? like a news program on YouTube to try and hear variations of this accent and the guy kept saying used instead of yoast. These are things that completely throw you off and sometimes if a word that's changed sounds like an original word that you're used to, it can confuse you so much as a Dutch learner. I love the variation that exists within the Dutch language. It is one of my favorite things about learning Dutch, but it is also one of the things that can be a complete pain in the butt when you're just beginning and you're trying to get your feet on the ground in the Dutch language. Most of the content that you find online is produced for learners so it's very slow and clearly spoken which is exactly what you need in the beginning but it's also super unrealistic and not the real way that people use the language. Everyone has their own way of speaking, whether there's influences of their background, what their first language is, what dialect they used to speak at home, how fast they're talking, who they're talking to, what words they wanna stress, how important is what they're saying, all of these things come into play in a single sentence. Everyone has their own way of communicating and that's obviously what makes language fun and beautiful. If you are studying Dutch, stick with it. I promise, I promise you it will be completely worth it. When you start recognizing some of these accents and dialects, it is a really, really exciting feeling. So I encourage you to keep going. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It seriously, seriously helps my channel a lot. Leave a comment below if you've got any questions, any suggestions for videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.